Who am I? I'm the protector of this city. I'm the traveler. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was a terrible intro, but uh, hey, everybody. I'm JP Firepledge. Uh, we are here doing some more of the Genshin Impact story. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fly on down here like Batman. We're going to drop on in this place, and we're going to steal the body of Rex Lapis, or at least uh, try and talk to him. <laughs> I thought that this was going to be such a cool intro for the part for y'all for a while now when I flew over here the first time. Because it gives you like such a nice scope how big the city of Leeway is. In um, like it's really not super large, but there's just like a lot of different like all the buildings look very different in terms of color or in terms of the ornamentation around the outside of them. I just wanted to let you guys be able to see that as we were floating down gracefully onto the dead body of a god. So looks like they moved it, but we'll find it. I'm sure. Uh, in the last part, we went and we saw Zhongli. I uh, end of the video, I said I think that he is Rex Lapis. His, uh, his vested interest and his having no money as a god like Venti would not have. So I think we, I'm going to call it there. He's also got a voice that's a little bit too uh, kingly to me to not be someone important. And it would make sense because we always run around with the, if we take uh, Venti as a any sort of, uh, what would you call it? Pre-designation that we should be hanging out with the god of the area the most time. Alright, so we're going to place the Noctilusicus Jade. Butcher, butcher that name. <laughs> uh, boxes of that stuff. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Fingers crossed that child will reimburse us. I guess we can't do anything else. Also... Is this where we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. So we're just going to use the scene of the crime the to... The Liu Chising have agreed to this arrangement. Okay. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayun Karst, None of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Also, the, uh, Rex Lapis vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, right. That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. Seems a bit too easy going. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help will probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu. Which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. They must have some ulterior Perhaps motives. Each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant and is especially suited for solemn events like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhongli's lectures on high society again. <laughs> 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 
We shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. Alright. We dropped off the jade. And now we are going to go on down here and pay for this guy's other stuff. Um, we're literally, me and Paimon are very literally this man's sugar daddy and mama right now. I have no issue saying that out loud right in front of him to his face. This man, this man needs to pay his half of the bill. That's that's all I can say. Uh, where am I going? I should open a store here. Is he hanging out around here? Go and buy silk flowers from the traveling merchant. What do you sell? He sells core lap. No, this isn't the guy. Why is it so chilly? Huh. All right, and need to talk to him. Oh, oh, that's cool. That guy had gave us a jade fragment. Those are actually like you get. Wow, I'm really surprised. Is um, where is this guy? Is he like below us? Oh, he's below us. Oh, okay, I've never been down here. Can tell by the uh, book still sitting on the table. That's cool. A little how? This is like the worst area you could possibly be in for like trade, though. There's no way to get in and out of here. <laughs> this is where they put people they don't like. They shove books and chests down here that they don't care about. Um, yeah. So I was gonna say for you guys, since this is a new part, uh, I for I think I said, but I'm JP Fire Pledge. Uh, I'm doing a let's play of this game. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we're coming up towards probably the end of the game. I had said in the end of the last part, um, I think we're going to maybe make this series offline of Twitch for a little while. Um, just because of the cadence of how these episodes are going to have to come out. We're going to have a huge gap, essentially, when they stop releasing content slash or trying to release new content. So I think it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense for me to play this on Twitch every time. That we want to just do like basic leveling because it's about 45 minutes of content and it's just the same content every day so i'll keep you guys up to date on that on like my twitter and stuff and um up till that point i actually have another game that i'm looking forward to playing with you guys so definitely be on the lookout for that it'll be on this channel so no worries all right so let's talk to boli hey boss do you sell silk flowers here hey boss silk flowers we certainly do. This is guy again. Which kind would you like? This guy's from the intro. He has the really uh, kind of sne sleazy voice. Which kind? The uh, the good kind? The best kind? <laughs> Remind Paima what kinds there are again. <laughs> Paimon's probably my favorite character in this whole game. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers! Always coming in here with your stupid questions. <laughs> All right, you got anybody who's worked retail? This guy is uh, this guy's your spirit animal Golden right now. House maiden, valley weaver, and fate's yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. This is what I get for calling Paimon emergency food. Wait. Oh wait, no, I like this one. Wait, you don't even recognize me? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, yes. We've met before, haven't we? Sorry, traveler. I shouldn't have spoken to you in that tone. This guy helped us around the town when we first got here. He was back in like part like 12 or something like that. And he gave us a, like a full like two minute long speech. And he just like, all right, dummies, sit in the corner. Now then, we talked to the big boys. Please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens. Excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. 
Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was silk flowers oh, have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Leo's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow, a true connoisseur. Most of that was news even to me. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. I'm still an ignoramus on horticulture. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Boss. Oh my gosh. This guy is going to eat us out of house and home. Again? <laughs> How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled, a question. <clears throat> do you have any mora on you? <laughs> you forgot to bring money again? Zhong uh, Li? I see a pattern emerging here. Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I didn't expect that to ever come out in this game. Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lan! She's master of the Leeway branch, right? Alright, we're gonna get up there. Yes, got there. Alright, so I'm... I'm. Every time this man opens his mouth, I'm more convinced that he is actually Rex Lapis. Um... We are... We are actually... It's kind of funny, because every single person you've talked to is someone he that Rex Lapis has had direct contact with in the past. 
actually like literally saved their businesses or made them successful and that's the whole reason that they are like even successful to begin with i think this man is making the rounds again and he just what he did was ditch his body as he fell to the ground and just like became and just in impo not imposter like they, they called him an imposter but i think he just got rid of the the dragon body and just decided to go around being a person from this point onward Especially knowing what I do about the character now from seeing his intro. Um, you go on the Genshin Impact YouTube, you'll see an intro to that character probably, or you can just look up Zhongli. But his whole thing is he drops like a giant meteor on the on people. I don't feel like our character can do like this. Like and she can do this, like drop a little bunny. And maybe spin her spin her pole arm around her a lot. And but no, no one drops a meteor, you know what I mean? So, it seems pretty godly. Paimon, we need to ask you for a favor. Do you smell nice? That's what Paimon is really asking. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry you too, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> you smell great. Wow, just wow. I'm just going to assume that you're either joking or being sarcastic. To be fair, I put a lot of effort into my appearance for someone who spends all their time in the great outdoors. But I smell great? Don't be ridiculous. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Main. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lan. See you around. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Paimon is so direct. Make our character kind of weird and creepy like her sometimes. You, lady, you smell nice. <laughs> Hello. How may I help? We've come to ask you a question. <laughs> you uh, smell great. I... Sorry, you caught me off guard. <laughs> Most people aren't so direct. I think we need more time to get to know each other. Uh, we just wanted to know what perfume you normally use. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't actually use any. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally we're getting somewhere! All right, so spoiler alert, I'm literally going to answer that question every single time possible unless there's a funnier option. I mean, I, I feel like this character that I've made, if I have to like have a telltale style reenactment of all of my um my my doings with the characters in this game, my character will probably be like 30% actual idiot and then 20% goofball and then like whatever percents are remaining after that, like actual like serious adventurer, which is probably closer to me than I'd like to admit. All right, so this, I've talked to this lady before and she makes herself sound kind of like a lady of the evening. So we'll see how this interaction goes. <laughs> well, hello, you found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. 
Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Whichever one you're wearing. <laughs> I'm not wearing any, darling. Could it be that you've been bewitched by my natural scent? If so, I'm afraid it's one of a kind. <sighs> Whatever this is, you guys need to snap out of it right now. Hand her the silk flowers. <laughs> My mind's over here. Yo, man, stop simping on every girl you see. <laughs> Three in one go. My goodness. Oh, my. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet smelling ammunition. Is that it? You had a problem with that? Ay, ay, ay. Who let this tiger out of the cage? Well, with your looks, who can blame you? If you've got it, flaunt it. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant, but you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Uh, okay. So... Where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? <laughs> How about the kitchen at Zhongli's you place? You mean Wan Min restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. Oh man, was the real answer for real? <laughs> These guys are over here innuendoing each other to death. I'm just like, let's go to John Ling's place. We can hang out in the kitchen. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. I'll sit. I've okay, had I'll stand. Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud. As my assistant. Obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> Fetch water? Oh, it must be around back. This, uh... This lady over here is, uh... <laughs> quite a character. I, I, I met her earlier, and I was like, if this interaction isn't like what I was expecting, then I'm gonna be disappointed, but it's exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> this water will do nicely. Now... I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process. But I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. This character, these, these game, this game has so many characters. I just, it's actually, I think it's like a lot of people won't play this on their YouTube and make re legitimate content out of it. They're just gonna make like crappy bullshit content. This game has like really good writing for like a anime game. To be honest with you, can I use anybody else? Just Kane. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. Confirm. I mean, it's the only thing I can make out of it. This lady is, uh, teaching our character a lot of additional skills that he's gonna need to, you know, get around the world. Oh, okay, this is where you make these. I was actually wondering. I just want the ba I need the basic ones. I don't need these extra ones yet. But okay, we'll get back to our uh, to our lady in waiting over here.
I'm back, Miss John Year. Her name's probably an innuendo wow, in like Chinese. This is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. I was thinking of you the whole time. Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You know... You're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. I, I think I got Good. it. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. Mm. <laughs> Come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Let's take these three perfumes yes, to the Statue Let's, of the um, Seven. I'll come visit Mr. now. Been uh, I'll, I'll come. I wonder if she has different dialogue, actually. Why, hello, you're looking rather fetching today. Or I'll find something unforgettable. Oh, no, it's the same. That's sad. They baked. Yeah. The the way this dialogue makes it sound like is like she's trying to uh, like uh, proposition you. So it's kind of... Uh, I like that like me randomly finding that NPC you didn't see it. I was running around the town talking to people and see if they had anything interesting to say. It's funny to me that throwaway character, uh, what I thought was a throwaway character was like actually fully realized for their, um, for not even the joke I would say, but more kind of like uh, fully realized for the uh, situation at hand. Let's see what this is all about. We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Oh my. Uh. Oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less! <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Offer Golden Housemaid. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. Offer Valley Weaver. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. Offer Fate's Yearning. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, looks like Rick Lapis is into the mature ladies. Oh, what was that? Looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. That's the one older ladies like, right? Oh my. Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form. And <sighs> let's hope the cheesing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. 
Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. What ulterior motives did Ch Child and the Chi Sing have? So, we finished another step in, in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? Achievement. That smells divine. Got a lot of more from that, too. That's nice. You got anything to say? I apologize, but I won't be able to come with you this time. Once you've acquired the cleansing bell, meet me at Yujing Terrace. Okay. Easy peasy. How far away is Miss Ping at? Well, she's all the way back in the town. Okay, so let's go to the top one. We will see what Miss Ping is up to. If she's going to sell us a bowl of some uh, super secret noodle soup or what's up. It makes me think we're going to have to do something like pay for the spell because this guy has been... I don't think we've been charged anything so far, but I think we're racking up a bill. That's all I'm going to say. Is I haven't seen my credit card get, get charged yet. But he's been spending money for me a lot. So I am either running a tab, for one, and grab some of these non-erotic non silk flowers. <laughs> so anyone didn't understand that interaction from that... Uh, a lady earlier, you can go talk to your parents about that one. I'm not going to explain that to you. <laughs> but, alright. I think actually we're going to go ahead and uh, cut it here. I know we've been doing a little bit shorter parts, but I think it probably is uh, better off this way, honestly. Just for the consistency of everything. Alright, so today we had an um, interesting, intimate interaction with... Uh, I already forgot her name, unfortunately. It was uh, very memorable, though, the interaction itself. But, alright you guys, uh, we'll talk to Miss Ping in the next one and uh, finish up this right. But I hope you guys have a great day. I've been JP Fire Pledge, and I will see you guys in the next video. That sounded way too much like Markiplier, but alright, bye-bye. <laughs>